Hello guys, Winston here. An unintentionally long time ago, I got a chance to attend a half-day event thrown by NASA at the National Air and Space Museum. The purpose was to highlight some of the cool things in the Exploring the Planets gallery in anticipation of the New Horizon probe's transit of the Pluto system. That flyby has since happened, with the point of closest approach occurring on the morning of July 14th, and the video I'd been hoping to make about it is no longer relevant. For the uninitiated, New Horizons was a mission launched in 2006 to cap off humanity's initial reconnaissance of the solar system. What this means is that NASA has now directly observed every known planet and former planet in our solar system. But that's all old news. What I really want to talk about is the hidden gem in the Exploring the Planets exhibit, and that is Marie Curie, a flight-ready spare of the Sojourner rover launched on the Mars Pathfinder mission. Fans of the Martian, take note. This little robot is the real deal, structurally identical to its sibling stranded on Mars. Because of that, you can see a bunch of awesome details about its construction that would otherwise be obscured in lower fidelity replicas and props. Everything from the electrical layout of its solar panel array, to the placement of the terrain and hazard detection sensors, to its locomotion systems are all laid out for you to see. You could admire its machined aluminum wheels with stamped sheet metal teeth riveted on for traction, or observe the obsessive cable management where literally every millimeter of power and data transmission lines are accounted for. Or, more curiously, the incredibly difficult to machine wheel support arms. At first I thought these might have been additively manufactured on a laser sintering machine, but after finding no reference for use of the technology by NASA in the early 90s, I started to look closer. The surface finish on the arms and the geometry of the mounting interface suggest that it was conventionally machined, and if you look closely at the inside profile of some of these arms, it does seem possible that they were hollowed out with an undercut tool. Either way, this ridiculously customized geometry is something that's essential when every kilogram of weight costs thousands of dollars to put into orbit. And that's just low Earth orbit. Injecting into a Mars transfer orbit is even more expensive. I love this kind of stuff, and Marie Curie provides a great look into the level of engineering effort needed to go into space. If you're ever in the DC area and have some time to kill around the National Mall, stop by the Air and Space Museum. There's some genuinely cool stuff in there. I want to thank you all very much for listening to me ramble on about stuff I find interesting, and I hope that you'll all A, go to see The Martian and geek out over it like I will, and B, take note of the visual complexity of all of the props and set pieces in said movie, and recognize just how much more insane real pieces of flight hardware are. Have a good one, guys.